All right, buddy, welcome to fucking tech. Uh, I'm gonna present to you my first, first, first keyboard mod. I call this one Retro Party. <laughs> Why is that? Because I have some retro keycap set that I put on this keyboard, and I have this. It's, I have a sleeper feature. I have a sleeper function where if I'm in the office, boink, ooh, I got some ripples going on. And I have these, this, I don't know if we can see it on camera, this, this RGB bar flickering them out on the bottom. So I got this contrasting RGB bar in the bottom, contrasting with the retro keycap set. This is like a 90s retro retro it's not like a super old keyboard retro but that's what it is so the point of this keyboard this modification is i wanted a mechanical keyboard with some brown switches that was inexpensive that could i could bring to work and i wouldn't mind losing or damaging or uh, you know it's like I'm, i'm not losing a lot of money but i still enjoy typing on it at work now what is this what's what's involved in here well this is a keycap set that i bought on amazon canada for 40 dollars canadian it's from a vendor called happy balls there's no name for this keycap set it's like oem uh, double shot pbt backlit whatever blah 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 mx so there's no really name the real name so i just call it like retro i like the white the nice white and the uh the dark gray modifier keys it's very nice so i want it like an old style keyboard and what's nice is the the, the because it's backlit the, the the light shines out the very uh, actually the, the it's very bright the, the keyboard that I have is a Red Redragon Cali K577R the lights on it already are, are very bright and this keycap set transmits the light um, very nicely it it doesn't hamper the lights much or at all it, it's just brilliant uh, this keycap set is really fantastic. Uh, I really like the feel, they're solid, and for 40 bucks, Double Shot PBT, man, they sound great on the MX Browns. Uh, so they're not Cherry MX Browns, it's Udemu Browns at this uh, version, but uh, I'm going to change these. So uh, this first this first version of this keyboard, the total cost is like, I, ca- I, I $40 for the keycap set. I bought this keyboard used on the Facebook Marketplace for $40 was listed as 37 but i gave the guy 40 to say hey just make it a round number and i got some uh, five dollar cheap o-rings from ebay they took forever to come it's like a month and a half or something ridiculous so this is not like as it is now it's not a crazy expensive build so i wanted a cheap keyboard with some some brown switches so as to not to bother my co-workers at work because the point is to not bother the co-workers that's why i put some o-rings uh, the O-rings actually work uh, on the Otomu brown switches, which have like a box stem. You wouldn't think that the O-rings actually do anything, but they do. They they kind of work. The, the O-rings I have right now, they're very cheap, very thin O-rings, and they work. So that's good. Um, so this is a, a switch from the keyboard because I actually, I actually started changing the switches. But that's before I started making videos. So I'm gonna complete this video. I'm gonna make a time lapse with changing this, this the switches because I'm gonna change, I'm gonna change the switches. The ultimate, well, the ultimate, the, the 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 end game for this keyboard is gonna put in some silent uh, Odomus Silent Sky switches because this is a Red Dragon Red Dragon keyboard. You can't just put any switches in here, even though they're hot swappable. You can only put Odomus switches because the the contact pins. They're thinner than standard keyboards or uh, key switches. So you can only put Audemu switches in the Redragon keyboards that are hot swappable. Now, if you put like Gatorons or Cherry MXs or whatever, uh, you'll bend your pins or the, the pins will push up into the switch and you're gonna break your switch. It's not gonna work too too well. So I got some O-rings. Uh, so, so basically as it is, it comes out like to uh, uh, $85. <laughs> so, so $85, it's not a lot of money for a keyboard, mechanical keyboard I can enjoy and use at work. So I'm not typing like crazy at work, so uh, so it, it's fine. But it, but the, even this keycaps with the uh, the Odomu Browns, the, the Browns are tactile but not clicky. So I don't want to make my uh, co-workers uh, go crazy. 
but the this this keycap set is solid it sounds great on the on the browns i really love it but because it's a uh, it's a work environment it's for work not for home i got another project for home i'm uh, everything's going to be in other videos so i'm going to replace the sign the, the the switches to the auto move silent sky switches to make it silent very quiet for office space so that's the project so basically with the silent sky switches it ramps up the build cost for a little bit uh maybe to uh, 21 uh make 30 dollars canadian because this is actually uh, uh leftovers from a uh i bought 120 switches silent sky switches for another project for our next video but i use the leftovers to replace the alphanumeric keys uh the main the main letters and the the, the numbers the main things that i I'm gonna use for typing so I'm not bothering my co-workers and uh, so the total cost will come up to like $126 for the whole kit uh, with the silent sky switches and I'm gonna also put in some around $15 um, captain o-ring o-rings instead of the uh, thinner uh, cheapo o-rings I got on eBay for the original build for the original mod so here let's put them some line in here make it go crazy it's it, it even in the bright office environment these lights shine through and right now i got a couple of lights shining on this whole whole setup and filming and it's still bright <laughs> like to the eyes it's still very bright now the original keycaps on this keyboard the cali 5 uh, the k577r it's all black and when looking at the pictures uh for doing this video i, I saved some pictures and i forgot how ugly that font is that's terrible font so uh great improvement already with the keycaps <laughs> so uh it's not it wasn't it wasn't hard to beat so anything and like the font is good the transparency the the, the backlighting is very nice uh they're solid the texture is nice i just really like this keycap set so it's a fun inexpensive work keyboard so let's go for the time lapse. I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, ASMR. I got the, a row of keys here with the silent skies that are with the O-rings, silent skies without the O-rings, and the bottom row, uh, just the uh, standard Onimo Browns uh, with uh, I think just the thin um, original, well the original, the thin O-rings I got from eBay. So uh, it's, it's 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 a little bit weird to put the O-rings with the silent skies because the silent skies are already very uh they're like the the stem it's it's padded with rubber uh it's there's barely any difference using this as it is and putting some o-rings and because this has a, a standard cherry mix stem instead of the box stem uh it's a little bit easier to put the o-rings and they fit better so it's uh great so um but it's, there's barely any difference. I'm putting the O-rings anyways, just to make it a little bit mushier. But I mean, pff, as it is, the silent skies, they're very, very tactile and very silent. And anyways, I just, I'm still putting the O-rings. So here we go. Let's go. Uh, a little bit of SMR, some time lapse. And uh, that's it for uh, Retro Party 90, I guess. 90s Retro Party. That's the name I'm giving it. So here we go. See you next time. Ulumu Browns. Silent Sky, no O ring. Silent Sky, O ring.
Thinktech.com.